Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you This is Sullivan Adams, Game of Laser. You are now to Shibuden episode 430 step and the sealed power. Alright, this episode starts off with after what after what the masked man showed Neji G and Naruto about people who abandoning their comrades. Like he wants like he wants them to understand, like, the village is the village the the rule of the village is to complete the mission by absolutely necessary. Even though it means leaving someone behind. Fine. However, Sometimes leaving a person behind can have dire consequences. I think this masked man, this man who has the Yaku clan as a member of the Hugo clan, is literally the living embodiment of that philosophy. Like, when you leave someone behind, you have no idea what the outcome could be. Yeah. And he's also trying to sway Neji to his side. Now, he's trying to sway Neji for some particular reason. Why is there a reason? Like, wait, could he be Reggie's father? But Neji's father is supposed to be dead. Yet, I still have no idea who this guy is. Yeah, we thought, it's like, this guy's like, a, this guy's like, went to the same position as Obito, like, where instead of being a member from the Uchiha clan, he's a member you know, of the Hyuga, which is diff, a different clan. Well, in some, well, in some cases, the Hyuga, they say that the Hyuga was a descendant of the, of the, you know, of the, you know, the Uchiha clan, but uh, enough about that, because uh, of the eye power, but enough about that later. Right, like, he's trying to sway Neji to his side, which is why he took Neji. He literally left Naruto on the floor uh, after hitting his pressure point to the point where he can't use his powers. Uh, you, he can't use Chakra. Like, uh, he's trying to make sure that Naruto doesn't become a nuisance. Because uh, he's obviously, Naruto, he doesn't want to go, Neji to go with the mask man. He doesn't want to leave his friends behind. Uh, but this man, this guy is literally darkness. Uh, he really wants to sway Neji to his side. Meanwhile, you got the other teams. They're trying to rally together, you know. No, Sasuke and Sakura, they want to go to the village to get... They want to, to complete the mission, and that means going to the village to get help. Lee and Tenten, they try to search for search for everybody. Mostly Lee, he's freaking out about Guy Sensei. He really does care about Guy Sensei the most. He really does love him. I love as in respect, love and admiration and respect, you know. Uh, then, there, then there's the other team... T Nai and Team Asuma, uh, they're working together. Given the situation they're dealing with, you know, they said they try to go there. They're trying to make their way towards the others, and then they try to do every every way they can to like and do this. Like, uh, however, they're not. It's not completely easy for them. For example, we know that the Mass Man. We already knew this. We know that the Mass Man is manipulating the Akatsuki. He, he's also AKA Team Jiraiya, Kodan, Nagato, and Yahiko. Oh, however, or, however, there's something, like, it's like he's trying to test them, to try to see if they don't completely follow the Hidden Leaf's ideals about completing the mission, about completing the mission before rescuing your comrades. Like, finish the mission at all costs, even if it means leaving someone behind. Like, from what, from what they say, Team Jiraiya, they tested Shigamaru's team. It seems they don't think, they think of them as good people. And don't and and not the kind of people who would just abandon people for you know, to save their own skins. Like it, it, it proved they proved that. And for some reason, and the master was particularly interested in that. However, the master he is hit, intent on making Neji come to his side. Like he's trying to make him understand like what how he feels. You know, he's trying to convince that some of his comrades don't all follow the same belief. Like for example, Sasuke. He doesn't tend on believe and finishing the mission off. He doesn't tend on completing the mission. Mission, even if it means leaving Naruto and the others behind, because now that most of the now that people have been captured, he wants to complete the mission as good as as soon as possible. However, things are not so easy for for him, because at the same time they encountered another member of the Akatsuki, right? Sasori, the puppet master, and this dude is definitely going to be tough to beat. I like how I like how the fight went. Sasuke trying to take out, but Sasuke, you know, as a kid, he doesn't have the same strength or level of strength that he was when he's grown up, when he's older. So it's gonna be a hard fight for Sasuke, even though he is strong. On Sasuke, uh, Sasori is a little better. Sorry, like mis mispronounced Sasuke and Sasori like that. Meanwhile, you also have the other team. In in Hinata uses her dragon gun. She sees Neji with the mask man. And, but Neji, she's not moving, because he wants to understand what is the masked man's true motives are. However, it leads to some speculation and some conspiracy, like what is going on. 
what is really going on. So, and then also finally you get Naruto. Oh, he wants to he wants to be free. He, and he remembers what his father told him that he has the nine tails sealed inside of him, and that the power was split into two halves. One half was sealed within his mother Kushina, the other half is sealed within him. And he he knew by use by doing this he by sealing the power inside Naruto that one day the power will be strong enough for it to be controlled. However, uh, the nine tails he, he's rather hesitant to share to share his power with Sa with Naruto. Uh, he doesn't want. To have his power because he thinks he's not strong enough to handle it, but he wants to consider you know, giving wants Naruto to make a deal you know, with him, like un undo undo your father's healing jutsu, and I'll give you all the power I have. Sure, it may Naruto stronger, stronger, but it will become a slave to the Nine Tails, and we all know what happens when Naruto becomes overcome by the Nine Tails. He goes berserk, he goes crazy, he starts to crush everything, both friend and foe. So basically, this is not a good decision. He's in a tough spot. Then out of nowhere, and what, where, where we get to see the, the we get to see his his teacher, his mentor. We get to see Jiraiya coming out of nowhere. We we get to see him early on in the episode. He him in the episode. Apparently he goes to some kind of sanctuary that's hidden. In, in, hidden in that sanctuary, there's some kind of mysterious man. I think we all know who that man is. Not not the man you're thinking of, but another man. Someone who has an eye, someone who has a special eye, right, in one side. So, well, this man, and has silvery hair. Okay, he not. Uh, this man, like for some reason, he looks like he's in some kind of place that's home to the Uchiha, because we get to see the three tomos in in, in the middle, of the the three tomos of the of the Sharingan, uh, as well as in the middle of some kind of white. White scarf, some kind of wife's flag or something. And from what I can see, he's trying, you know, to understand. And he looks like there's some kind of hidden jutsu. Like, this hidden jutsu may be the key to how to open the dimension gate. To how to get between, our friend, between, you know, our regular world, you know, the normal world, and to the hole in space, which they, which, which they all go to, like, the dimensions. Like, when they cross over, when the mass band uses it to cross between dimensions and space. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. This chap, this episode was definitely unique, even though it's filler. I do like it, and, and the reason why I'm saying I, I mean it, it, it is because I got a me and a certain per, someone, you know, talked a, little, a while back, you know, about me about fillers and fillers, and I, I'm gonna say this to you, like I don't hate the fillers, I like them, but I do feel like we should go back to the original story maybe at some point. And from what, what, the way it's looking, it looks like we're not gonna get to the original story until. Till like winter break. Sorry about that. Some car ran past the building and made some noise. We probably won't get to see the original, we, the the you know canon episode till like you know winter break. So basically, that's what I'm trying to. That's until past winter break. That's all I'm saying. Uh, anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed this one. This is still been asking my latest review on our Shibuya episode, oh, 437. Good episode. Liked it. Like the animation. Definitely. Hey, hoping for something new, to a game changer. Hope you think that's what to come out said. Thank you. Bye. Tsunade was very upset at the end of the episode in the preview for what Jirai had to say about Sakura. Bye.